Hey everyone, sit back and relax or follow along with me. Today I'm going to show you how we go from this to this. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is just putting my hair back. And I do have last night's skincare on. I have eye cream, moisturizer. That's pretty much it from last night. But I am going to be priming the face and I'm starting off with, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's the e.l.f. Glow Lotion. Just going to give that a bit of a shake and apply that all over the face for just a little bit of hydration. Just probably about that much. And work that in to the skin. You can feel free to take this all the way up to under the eyes, but because I already have a skincare eye cream on from last night, I'm just leaving it. I'm just gonna get eyebrows out of the way first. Going in with the Milk Makeup Cush Fiber Brow Gel. There is something about a classic hot look that just feels right when it's scorching hot, right? Sometimes you just gotta like amp it up a little bit even further. Why not? So just running through my eyebrows. Now I really, really, really like a fluffy brow, but I'm not gonna be doing it too fluffy. Feel free to use your favorite eyebrow pencil, pomade, or even just a brow product like what I'm using here. This is still going. I've been using this one up for a while and I do have a backup in my drawer. I still keep managing to get product out of it, so I'm going to keep using it until I use it up. Who's got the new Milk Eyebrow product? They've got the same exact shades as this range. It's 44 Australian dollars. I was in Sephora the other day and I nearly picked it up. I didn't because when I was looking at the wand, like you see how this one is, right? It's very soft but the new one is that silicon bristle and felt stiff and hard i'm not a fan of that and the foundation i'm using today this new one by revlon and it's really really lovely it's a skin serum the serum tint ginger root vitamin c and e i did do a review on this uh, not too long ago but I'm really really loving it. It's got SPF 15 in it. Isn't that a bit of a shake and I'm going to be applying it with a damp beauty sponge. Gonna be whacking some of that on. I'm actually also at the same time going to apply the concealer. This is the Skin Awaken 24 Hours 5-in-1 Concealer by Revlon in the shade 30. Look how cute this wand is, right? It's like a little microphone. It's so adorable. Just gonna be putting some of that on under the eyes. If there's a bit too much, I'll just use the rest as eye primer. To me, this look's not gonna budge anyway. So let's blend in the foundation and the concealer. And the reason I'm not using my fingers today for blending it out is because my hands are just too sweaty. Nervous energy. Shout out to anyone who suffers from severe sweat. And I'm talking under the armpit, hands, feet. If you feel what I'm saying, I don't know, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> what do you do about it? What's your favorite deodorant? I've got several on rotation at the moment which I'm gonna do a review on soon. Working in the concealer, which I absolutely love so much. Taking that over the eyes. And because in some parts of the world it's obviously sweltering, and even if it's not sweltering, we're gonna do a light powder. So you can powder the whole face, but for me today, I'm not gonna be powdering at all. Uh, just sort of, I will, but just a slight little bit under the eyes, that's it. Now, this concealer is beautiful. I find it doesn't crease on me at all. If you really do have like deep crease lines, go ahead and do a light dusting of powder. I find the Pat McGrath uh, Skin Blurring Eye Powder is absolutely wonderful for setting concealer. And I think also the longer you leave concealer under the eyes before blending, 
the better it looks in my opinion anyway like everyone's different but then there's some concealers that set really quickly and you have to work quick so then that botches that up doesn't it usually anyway what I do have on hand at the moment is just the AOA Studio Perfect setting powder this one here and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush I'm just going to pick up a little bit of powder and just do a light dusting under the eyes I'm talking like this powder is like honestly it's like silk I don't really use it much that's why it was on my desk because I have been using it and I'm um, just going to tiny put a bit of that over the eyes as well just to give a smoother canvas when we go ahead and apply that eyeshadow now this powder that I'm using is in the shade just so you're if you want to know banana banana and uh, this is only one dollar got powder all over me now great and it's in my hair <laughs> it's everywhere oh my goodness okay just might as well just powder that all in why not all right now today for the eyeshadow I'm using the born this way natural palette this is the complexion the natural nudes and I still keep it in its packet it does come with this cute little pamphlet for different you know ways of doing the eyes which is good for some people but I never use it <laughs> so these are the tones that we we've got in this pan absolutely beautiful I'm going to be only using two shades today and going in with this gorgeous shade here called Coco Coco and I'm sweeping that all over the lid see how beautifully pigmented it is it's just gorgeous has anyone tried any of the polite society makeup that has come out by the founder of the original founder of Too Faced and let me know what products you received and well let me know which products you picked up and whether you're enjoying them I've heard the foundation's pretty good so that's it guys just a one and done simple shadow I'm just going to do the other eye just window wipe motion and drag your brush out to the tail end of the brow when you're doing it because that's going to be your shape and the reason I'm using a big fluffy brush is because it's blending and it's doing just like the one and done shade that I'm after now to blend it out even further just get a cleaner fluffy brush and just work in the top part of that shadow so there's no harsh line make sure to blend the inner corners of the eyes as well for the pop of color on the middle of the eyes we're using the shade called rose gold which is this one here and I'm just using my finger that's the shade there and placing that right in the center of the eye isn't that just beautiful love it we're also going to be putting that same shade on the inner corner highlight it's just like a small flat brush just dipping into that rose gold shade and doing inner corner highlighting okay same brush picking up Coco again lining the lower lash line now the fun begins it's time for some eyeliner the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner pen and starting off the outer tip and then I do I do hold this here just for guidance so I can keep the skin taut while I do the wing and fill it out if it gets messy don't worry about it we can clean it up but 
Once you've done the wing, fill the rest of the eye. You don't have to go all the way to the inner corner if you don't want to. But I love to go all the way in. I did get a little bit of a dot there, but that's okay. I'm happy with the wing. I'm going to do the other eye. You're going to love my splayed. The brush tip is um, sort of coming apart, but it still works. Now, if the liner is too thick for your liking, and when I'm saying thick, it's so easy to clean up with a cotton tip. I'll show you how to do it in a moment, but we're just laying this down first. Okay, to clean that up, you can use either something sort of moisturizing. I've got here on hand just a essence primer so I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand and what I then do is I dab the cotton tip in it because it's a waterproof eyeliner you need to obviously have something to to remove it so soak that tip quite well and then we can go ahead and start cleaning the edge of that liner And then with the other side, remove the moisture. So what we've done now is we've extended the liner to give it a more dramatic look. And you can shorten that. But for the sake of this video, I'm leaving it the way it is because I really love that elongated wing. We can just simply go ahead and fix that up by touching it up. Just like that, it's really doesn't have to be perfect but that's the thing with a wing right sometimes you have your days where it works and some days you don't just getting my damp beauty sponge with the concealer and i'm just refilling in where we took off that makeup so i just dropped everything on the floor right yeah that's what just happened time for mascara top and bottom lashes i'm going to do the mascara off camera and then i'll be back to do the bronzer blush and lipstick and lip liner okay so mascara top and bottom lashes applied i did also want to mention that you can skip the eyeliner if you want to but I suddenly remembered that I do need to have some eyeliner. So I'm just using a, I don't know if this is black or brown. This is just uh, the black eyeliner pen by Wayne Goss. I'm just going to line, actually this is brown, sorry. This is brown eyeliner, my apologies. Just a simple liner right on the waterline. That's it. If you wear contact lenses, this is a really good eyeliner by Wayne Goss. It doesn't sting your eyes, doesn't irritate the eyes whatsoever. And I really find that it lasts all day. Okay, bronzing time. I'm using the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. Just going to do a little bit of contouring with that as well. And I'm going in with a Pro Foundation brush by Sephora. Just going to blend that in. Mm, maybe we can go a little bit more warmer. Put a bit on the forehead. Why not? Blend. Actually, going to use blend that in with my KVD Beauty concealer brush, making sure to go up to the brow there. 
Now it's time for some blush. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. Just need to put a bit of, need to open the cap actually on that one. Squeeze a bit out. Going ahead with my damp beauty sponge to blend that in. Now you might notice that I do have a brown spot there which I haven't concealed. I don't mind not concealing that. I could have gone way over board and done a full coverage foundation, full coverage concealer and all that sort of stuff. But I really wanted my real skin to show through with this makeup look. Take that over the nose. I'm not going to be applying any highlighter to the top of the cheekbones. I do feel we could use a bit more blush though, so whacking that on. I think the sponge kind of eats it all up. So don't be afraid to put too more too much. Don't be afraid to put more if you needed but then you're wasting a bit of product. I, I understand that you would be wasting some product by continuously applying. Oh, I forgot to blend out the bronze on the forehead. I might as well go ahead and do that now. There we go. Lips, finally. This is a shade Whiskey by AOA Beauty. I'm going to be overdrawing the lips and I can't open it up for the life of me, honestly. <laughs> oh, goodness. And by the way, this was like the closest red liner that I could find at the time. Now I'm going in with a lip primer and this is by Nude by Nature and it's just a perfecting lip primer and it's wonderful for priming the lips prior to applying a red lipstick or even just under any lipstick for that matter but I find that your lipstick doesn't really tend to last longer than it would if you didn't have the primer but it's just a nice base and it helps to fill in the lines on your lips. So now finally we're going in with one of my most favorite colors of red and it's called Poppy Pout 100 by Flower Beauty. It's just a simple red lipstick but it's the one that suits my cool olive undertone the best. And there you guys have it, a classic, simple, hot summer look that is just perfect for those hot days just to amp up the heat, if you will. Uh, I think there's nothing more glamorous. This look will go with anything, jeans, formal, casual as, tracksuit pants, whatever. It's going to go with everything, honestly. If you want to see more looks or something similar or something different, let me know. For those of you who have recently subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I am going to love you and leave you. Have a good rest of the weekend and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.